Good morning, everybody. Good morning. My name is Rakesh Dawat. I am uh, an electrical engineer. I have uh, got uh, uh, not as many degrees as Hassan has, but I have uh, three degrees. I have got two masters and uh, and one electrical engineering. Uh, masters in electrical engineering, uh, bachelor's in electrical engineering, then I have an MBA. Uh, so I have uh, uh, gone to the university love the university setup, uh, love what it offers, uh, the inspiration it, it, it gives to you. And uh, some of those lessons I have tried to apply in real life. It's tough, you know, trying to get out of the university and try to really apply what you learn in real life. So what I want to talk about today is, um, uh, one is I want to talk about electric bicycles, because this was one way for for me to channel the learning I have into something uh, which could change the society, uh, something which could make an impact to uh, an individual's life. Right? That was that was how you could uh, use your knowledge to make an impact. And I got involved with electric bicycles in about 2001. Uh, I, when I moved to Virginia, there was a company called Waycrest Laboratories. And they were working on this uh, interesting technology. And, uh, and I became a part of that. And from there onwards, uh, we, had, uh, uh, we launched several products. And this one is the uh, latest one. So I want to keep it. Uh, fairly simple, short, and, and allow you to uh, to uh, ask questions as we go along. Okay. So, uh, before I start, any questions? Okay, so the way I have structured the presentation is that we have got uh, the, as you have perhaps observed in the last years, this is a very exciting time, uh, that we had an internet age, right? It peaked in um, 2000, 2001, right? It's matured now. You have got companies who are actually making sizable revenues in the internet industry, right? So there is what is called coming of technology maturing of technology, right? So it's, it's something like, uh, can I get, yeah, here. So the concept called ESCR, right? What is the concept of ESCR? When you introduce any technology, it follows a pattern, right? What is that pattern? So this is here is your Essentially, um, as you, this is your consumption. This is your time. So all technologies go through this kind of pattern. The, the, the smartphone you have in your hands, a lot of people have got the smartphones now. Right? It has gone through this. Right? You could pretty much map how the technology is evolved. And this is very interesting because when you are trying to launch a product, if you launch the product at the right time, it can really, it's like riding a wave, right? It's like riding a wave, right? Google, why is it so successful today? It was the right product at the right time. What, was it 98, 1998, right? They rode the wave. This is the wave, right? When you introduce a product, you can ride the wave. But nobody knows when this is going to happen. So when you're introducing a new technology, right, a lot of companies will die here trying to, this is the pioneers. Pioneers finish sometimes, this can take such a long time that they don't get to that stage. 
right? Now, so if you look at electric bicycle industry today, in the US, you can say it's around this time frame. Right? So, and why is that uh, in this time frame? So I'm going to talk about some of those factors. And, uh, and see if you guys agree with the analysis I have. Maybe I'm smoking though. Right. <laughs> so let's see. Um, so we'll, we'll talk about now. How many people actually know about electric bicycles? If I show of hands, people have heard one, two, three, four. Have, have, has anybody ridden an electric bicycle? One. Good. So this is today's your day, right? You get a chance to ride an electric bicycle. It's, it's, it's a, so now the interesting part is when you know what stage of a technology or a market you are, pretty soon in next four or five years, there are already few electric bicycles in, in, in downtown DC. There will be plenty more. And with America's demographics, uh, one interesting fact is that how baby boomers are retiring, right? And they're retiring in large numbers, right? And these are folks who don't like to sit. They like to be active, right? So what do they need? They are, and these are the folks who have been riding bicycles. Now, the knees don't work as well, the muscles don't work as well, what do they do? They naturally gravitate towards electric bicycles. Right? So that is one demographic component. So when you're designing a product, you want to keep that in mind, is how that's going to play a part. Uh, let me also talk about the environmental impact. Right? Environmental impact. So, 15.8 gram of carbon dioxide when you use an electric bicycle, you still impact an environment, right? Versus 368 <coughs> gram of carbon dioxide per mile for a mid-size passenger car. <coughs> That's an impact. That is what it costs you to ride in a, a car. You take away from Mother Nature, right, the resources which support life. And that is the cost Mother Nature has to pay, 368 grams of carbon dioxide. Right? That's one of the huge environmental impacts of being an automobile-driven society. <coughs> All right, 41% of all urban trips in the United States are three miles or less. And still, you have got automobile being used for those. Right, it is, it is, it is what we ha have, we are used to it, right? We are, we, so especially uh, the new generation has grown up with automobiles, right? It is like second nature. It is almost a second nature not to be, not to use anything other than the automobile. <coughs> there is an obesity epidemic in the U.S. It's huge, right? It is a serious health problem, right? It is, it is directly related to the use of automobile. We are getting less and less active. Oh. 
and uh, the automobile use has got a lot of other health consequences, right? You have got premature underweight childbirths, you have got childhood asthma, autism, uh, cardiopulmonary diseases, etc. These are all documented and there are references for that and cancer, right? All. So this is a serious impact, what, how we have been living uh, in the society, right? Now, so something has to be done. We are becoming more and more aware of it, but something has to be done in order for us to realize what we are taking away from nature and how nature intended us to be active, right? Nature intended us to be, uh, to be uh, healthy, right? And the lifestyle which we are gravitated towards today is not as nature intended. 